want to share on a phenomenon I've observed as well as experienced in life where we are expected to dwell in a sort of duality where we are confident and we, we feel worthy and valued and respected in our imperfection uh, as well as uh, aware of the perfection, aware of the knowledge of, of the perfection. Um, what I mean to say is that you exist in a reality or a state where you have to be aware of uh, what the perfect thing to do is even if you're failing at it as well as be confident in your imperfection um, and I want to say that uh, when we let go of either one that is when we fall into uh, either extremes and one extreme is where we now overly justify ourselves in our imperfection so that we settle like what you found yourself born into uh, how you find yourself in the moment you know your personality the way you do things the way you think uh, your experiences you know we take them as as uh, law and we affirm ourselves even in our mistakes and failures and we settle in that and we decide that that is who we are regardless of our knowledge of the right what the right way to be is or what the right thing to do is The other extreme is where we are now overly aware of the perfection uh, and the fact that we are not that perfection so that we exist in a very antagonistic uh, kind of uh, relationship with ourselves and uh, everything around us because of that imperfection. You know, the, the awareness of the perfection makes us feel insufficient, makes us feel unworthy, makes us feel uh, like we are not legitimate unless we are perfect. And this also applies to how we view everybody else when they make a mistake or when they have certain weaknesses. We can unconsciously act as though they are not worthy when they uh, are in a mess. Or when they make that huge mistake, we can want to dismiss them or throw them away. Um, but when we exist in a, in a state where we hold to the two of them, we hold the two of them in our hands, and we are constantly working with the two of them so that we don't justify ourselves in our in our mistakes or in our in our weakness uh, yeah we, we are trying to get better uh, just just because my personality makes me withdrawn or overly social doesn't mean that that is the right way to be you know actually we when we are coming up we are usually off balance and it is the knowledge that we have that we use to take us back to balance. Let's try one out. this and you don't make a lot of salt.
then you would love them. The flavors, the onion and the garlic. Just because you were born that way doesn't mean that that is the right way to be. You know, there are so many things that go wrong in our upbringing, in our, even in our conception, even in our heritage. Like, we understand that there are things that we, uh, that are passed on to us, that are not in our controls. But we don't get to sit in that w wrong way of being just because we were born that way. And neither do we condemn ourselves or allow anybody to condemn us in our faults and in our imperfection. So you'll find that most of the social people, like people who love life and uh, are outgoing, they tend to be very averse to hearing or receiving things that highlight their imperfection because now that is what, uh, that can bring about a sort of unhappiness, which is what they are trying to protect. They are trying to protect that happiness and, and positivity so that when you're trying to bring a message or a knowledge of the way that a way that they are that is not right um, they can be very off put by that and therefore uh, avoid it and by doing that they they remain in that average kind of state you know they never really reach to their full potential because they want to be happy in who they already are uh, in that moment before uh, we have to understand that we are we all have the responsibility to work to uh, bring out our fullest potential and and this is how you do it when you hold to these two things and you work uh, with those two things not with either one But when you're aware that you can actually still be confident and you're still worthy even before you're perfect or before you do the right thing, it eases the, the process of you receiving and accepting instruction. You know, you, you can easily become like a child because you know that just because you're, you're, you're being given this instruction or direction to change something or transform something uh, or even disciplining um, just because you're being disciplined it doesn't mean that you are unworthy it doesn't mean that you have been nullified as a person it doesn't mean that you are any less of, of, of you you know uh, when you are still confident in your imperfection but you're still acknowledging the truth that helps you to even go out of your way to look for the truth that helps you to rise above the status quo and the average uh, place where you start off from. You know, you even go out of your way to find that instruction. Now it's not something that has to be intrusive in your life, that you have to receive um, unwillingly, you know, that is not... Um, uh, sort out you know now you can go out of your way you can go out of your way and you can easily easier receive instruction when you are confident in your imperfection
taking you on my art journey as I do these videos and I'm trying to get myself to start painting a bit more loosely and freely where I'm not constricted by uh, what I know, what I've learned over time about technique, um, where I'm not restricted by the subject matter or the Im image I have in my head. What I'm describing in artistic terms is actually what we call expressionist art, where you're just focused on the mood or the general feeling of what you want to paint. You're not trying to be realistic as such about your figures. But I also want to go further than that and do enough exercise and be able to come to a place where I can paint from imagination. Now that is where your, your art is flowing to the maximum. You know, you're not restricted by anything um, and your imagination is let loose to just produce out of itself. Thank you.